my father's been doing some spring cleaning, so he's had all uh -huh. this old stuff. Ah, this one. I haven't seen this one since 1999. It's, why is it like, like a raggedy thing? Uh, what so happened to it? This one's got a good story. Um, I had a big crash at Spa oh in um, Formula 2000. Af gaat en Gonzalo Rodriguez die eraf gaat. Hier het ongeluk tussen Justin Wilson, die helemaal niet vrij uitgaat met deze crash eerlijk gezegd, en Alex Jung, die een man uit Malaysia. Well, we ha I had a crash um, yeah. in, in Spa. Um, another driver called Justin Wilson right. tried to overtake me and tap me into a spin. I, I went off at Eau Rouge and 270 kilometers per hour. So I was knocked unconscious. Um, unfortunately, it's motor racing. Justin's no longer with us either. I, I woke up in hospital and um, it's kind of weird because when you wake up in hospital, it yeah. takes a while for the memories to come back. Right. So for a while, I wasn't even sure of what had happened the two years previous. So it was very weird to spend days and weeks even going, ooh, I don't even remember what happened yeah, a month yeah, yeah. ago. So the memories slowly came back a bit, but yeah, I don't remember anything of that day still. So um, I remember asking, where's my suit? Because we only had one race suit back then, um, and I needed it for the, you know, I was trying to get in the car like six weeks later. Oh, you were thinking like, oh, I need it for another race. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's enough. No, suit's gone, man. <laughs> so we oh. had to buy, we had to buy another suit, obviously. Right. Um, and money was tight, so buying another suit was tough. Um, so yeah, I haven't seen this till today. You know. Um, they had to like cut the suit yeah, open I, I, to get I, you out of yeah. it. Yeah, and I didn't know my father had it. Um, because I thought, because after the accident, the FIA took all my stuff, right. and, I, and I only got my helmet back two years ago. So I thought this was gone, but he, when he told me he had it, I was surprised. some sort of similarity between racing in a car and like skiing it's like no. you're in no it's different there's no similarities at all i got asked this when i got off the boat um I, no I, similarities at all uh, well I, I guess they're both fast uh things happen quickly yeah um but the, the sport's very different you know i mean in cars <coughs> you you need strong shoulders but you don't need your whole body to be incredibly strong you know right. water, sk water sports is all power yeah cars is all um um, strength endurance, so a lot of cardio. Yeah. Like it, so, the training is completely different. It's very explosive for water skiing and very mm. short durations. Mm. Cars, you can be in the car for three hours in, 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 in a lot of heat, so you need yeah. very good cardio base. So right. the training is completely different. Mentally, it's different. Um, I mentioned um, you have to be more aggressive in motor racing. In motor racing, you're right. definitely a lot aggressive, more aggressive. You take risks. You're you fighting. Be brave. You're fighting like, against other people. Yeah. Yeah. Water sports, you're only fighting against yourself. Right. So you have to be braver in water sports because the injuries are so much, the, 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 the potential for pain is a lot higher yeah. every day. Yeah. Um, so you have to be braver, but you're less aggressive. So Alex, I was thinking of buying a new car. <laughs> okay. But, okay, when you, when you first buy, this is like, this is not your first car, like, of course, kan? this is yeah, I had car a number, what, like five, six already that you've bought, uh, two, three. I can't remember. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, well, fine. I, I prefer so, when people give me cars. <laughs> so you're used to driving new cars, uh, that's one thing, right? So, but when you get into a car and you drive, what would be the top three things, features of a car that is most important to you? Um, is it speed because you're a racer? No. <laughs> no. no. I mean, you, you're, you're set by speed limits and traffic on the road, so I don't see the point of owning, owning a supercar. Right. Um, you don't but, have like a Ferrari at home or like a no, Porsche? No, I got an old Jag, which is kind of just a, kind of fun. Um, oh, because it looks good and all that, not because it's a super Nostalgia, car. Mm -hmm. really. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I don't. it's not about horsepower. I do like a car with a bit of torque. Right. You know, so like, torque is a lot of bottom end, basically. And, you know, like, like you gave it a small turbo. So you just don't have to rev the, the heck out of the car. Oh, know? okay. To so get so a bit of speed. torque is nice, a bit of throttle, and then you're, you're off instead yeah. of... I, I have also 
I got a Proton MPV as well, and that one, the engine is very, you know, you have to rev the crap out right. of it just to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Um, space. I, uh, oh. I, I like the space. Because? Um, well, I mountain bike quite a bit, so ah, I, I, I like okay. to chuck my bikes in the bike. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the third thing? So, torque. Torque. It was so specific. Torque. This is what happens when you talk to a race car driver about cars. You'll never... Is that how you talk to the sales the sales guy yeah. about like... So, you're like, um... Horsepower? Okay, fine. I hear horsepower. Like, I like a bit of torque. <laughs> the yeah. guy's like, what? Yeah, I like the car to talk to me as well. Like that, right? Like that, right? <laughs> That'd be very cool. Okay, what about the exterior or how the car looks? Does that like matter? Yeah. Um, then yes. why this one? Like like the Volvo XC90? It's okay. It's nice. It looks a bit fierce. It's okay. Um, it does the job. You know, I like cars that are functional and, and, and do the job. Right. Yes. Right. Um, it's a bonus if it looks nice. I'm more of a race car guy. Mm. You know, I understand cars very well. I drive, I drive a lot of them yeah. for my job. But um, I have the passion for a race car. I right. like, I like looking at race cars. I like being around them. Yeah. Um, I like knowing the history a bit. Road cars, not so much. Right. 